Hey YouTube. On my uh, showing my 15 inch skillet, I had quite a few comments about uh, about cast iron scratching your glass cooktop. I wish I would have started the video before I put the polish on. Um, I don't seem to get that problem. If you like, I, I clean. This is dirty, dirty. I hardly ever let my stove get this dirty. Um, clean it good. I take a razor blade to it, shave any of the heavy stuff off, and then I uh, I use a ceramic polish, and uh, you put that on just like car wax, and you you work it in real good, let it dry. And then take it off. And if it needs a second coat, give a second coat. Anyway, I'm going to do this up. I'm not going to bore you with me uh, with me polishing. But I'm going to get at that and do that and show you the first coat, how good it come out, and see if I got to do the second coat. I might. Now I say not scratching. You'll see the odd little fine scratches in this. I am using cast iron, but it doesn't scratch up like people think it does. I'll, I'll show you once I get to, once I get this clean. All right. See what I mean by it going like car wax? Like, see, um, I didn't have enough on. I should add more polish on. It was starting to dry before before I got as much polishing done as I wanted to. You see how it's a little bit whiter here? That's uh, I believe that starch from pasta that boiled over. Uh, so I'll be redoing this the second time. Uh, going along with my shout outs. Here's a guy. Uh, a lot of you might not know, um, some of you probably will. Dale Calder. This guy, he, he's great. He has chickens, he gardens. He's been uh, following my channel since it started. Um, he was with me in my old channel. I, I've done shout outs for him before. He makes cheese, he cooks, he's got an off grid cabin. Uh, check him out. I don't think he's will regret taking taking a look at Dale's channel. All right, that's after the first polish. Like I said, I'm gonna have to do this a second time. You can see there's still uh, still some build up on it. That'll come out though. But you can see like my top's not scratched all the pieces. You'll see it better once I. Uh, once I do the second polish, it should come a lot better. And there, that's after the second polish. Uh, I'm going to do it once more, but I'm not doing it right now. Uh, arms are getting a little sore from... You really got to put some, some manpower into it. You can see uh, that's why I want to do it once more. I let this stove go a little too long. Usually one polish will bring this stove back just like new. But... Uh, between Christmas and all that, I usually do the stove at least once a month, sometimes twice. But you can see, look, there's not much scratches on that. You get the odd one, there's a scratch, a little scratch there, but not like people think. I've heard that quite a few times, and, and I don't know why it said uh, uh, cast iron's no sharper on the bottom than anything else. They're a little heavier, and that's about it. But if you keep the, your stove clean and polished, it shouldn't scratch. And there we go. That's after the second uh, second polish. You can see how. That looks worse on the camera than it does in real life. Anyway, you can see like it's not all full of scratches and like people think. I've been using cast iron on this stove since we got it. This stove's probably oh I'm gonna say five years old, six years old. And, uh, and it, it's not scratched. I, like I said, I've been using cast iron on this stove ever since we got it. But the big thing is, keep it clean, keep it polished. Uh, 
I polish the stove at least once a month, sometimes twice. And that polish, I don't know if that polish puts a puts a film on it, same as you do on a on a car when you wax a car, keep it from scratching. Uh, but it works for me, so. Anyway, have a good day and thanks for watching.